Hello everyone, myself Fardi Gupta, first year B.Tech Biotechnology student in Shere Kashmir University, Jammu. Today, the topic of my presentation is Asexual and Sexual Methods of Plant Propagation. So, before starting the presentation, I would like to introduce you all with my course instructor, Dr. Prashant Bakshi, who is an associate professor in Shere Kashmir University, Jammu, who has more than 120 publications in national and international journals of repute, who has been adjusted best poster and oral presentation at various national and international press forms. He has guided nine research students as chairman and 34 as co-chairman and authored eight books and nine manuals he has rg score of 24.10 h index 11.0 and planted 10000 plus fruit plants under safe horticulture mission he also has a website named krishi sandesh and also uploading lectures on youtube for the students in this pandemic time thank you for your support sir These are the contents of my presentation. First overview, plant reproductive parts, plant propagation, sexual propagation, advantages and disadvantages of sexual propagation, stages of sexual propagation, seed germination, seed formation, maturity, dormancy, seed viability, longevity, pre-germination seed treatment. Contents Asexual plant propagation, natural vegetative propagation, artificial vegetative propagation, cutting, layering, grafting, apomixis, micropropagation, type of development in vitro. This is the overview of the whole presentation.
plant propagation. Plant propagation types and subtypes in the form of a flow chart. Plant propagation, the art and science of multiplying plants by sexual or asexual means. Sexual methods, seed propagation, asexual methods, rooting, cutting, layering, air layering, grafting, specialized structures, tissue culture, micropropagation. Sexual propagation. Multiplication of plants by using seed is called as sexual propagation. The diagram below represents the stages of sexual propagation in the form of a cycle. Advantages of sexual propagation. The plant raised by seed is planted light. They are hardy with deep root system so they are vigorous in growth. The possibility is there to obtain change in seedlings, the performance of which are better than their parent. Example Mango variety. The polyembryony, the phenomena of propagation of more than one seedling from a single seed, produced two to tight nuclear embryonic seedlings, which could be used as rootstock for uniform performance. Example Mango varieties. It is also common in citrus and jamu. Seed propagation is necessary when vegetative propagation is unsuccessful or expenses example papaya, coconut, areca nut. Root stalks are usually raised by seeds. When seedlings is required in large numbers, seed propagation is the only easy mean. Example dry land fruit and Disadvantages of sexual propagation when progenies are not true ripe and so they become inferior because in the commercial orchid it is necessary to have uniform quality, growth and yielding capacities. Choice trees or any hybrid trees cannot be perpetuated true to type of by seeds, except in apomixes. Seedlings has a long juvenile period in crop like citrus, coca and rubber. The seeds must be sown afresh immediately after extraction. Many varieties are seedless. Seed loses its viability in short period. Sexual propagation advantages fast way to get many plants, easy to do, economical. Disadvantages some plants, especially hybrids, do not reproduce true to parents. Some plants are difficult to propagate from seed. Stages of sexual propagation First, seed germination and seed propagation. Seed propagation is necessary in the following cases where vegetative propagation is unsuccessful or difficult or expensive. It is necessary for raising rootstock for grafting and budding. In all such cases, rootstock plant have to be raised through seed mostly. Seed formation and maturity. Seed develop along with the fruit and reaches full size and maturity when the fruit ripens. Hence, seeds should be extracted on the right fruit. Seed gathered from immature fruit may not germinate to under favorable condition and may lose viability more quickly than fully matured seed. Dormancy It is the term used to describe a seed that will not germinate because of any condition associated either with the seed itself or with existing environmental factors such as temperature and moisture. Some seed may germ even germinate within the fruit, example jack, avocado, papaya, called as BB Paris germination. Seed viability and longevity. Viability means the presence of life in the seed. Longevity refers to the length of time that seed will retain their viability. Some seeds are short-lived. Citrus. Pre-germination seed treatment. First, chemical acid 
scarification the purpose is to modify hard or important or impermeable seed covering generally soaking seed in concentrated sulfuric acid is an effective method the time of treatment may vary from 10 minutes to 6 hours according to the species after treatment seeds are thoroughly washed in clean water to make them free of acid and then they are sown immediately that is the seed of bell cotton asparagus are treated with 50% concentrated h2so4 the seeds are soaked in acid for 3 to 5 minutes mechanical scarification seed of a few species with impermeable seed coat that is hard seed coat can be rendered permeable to water and gases their germination is greatly improved by mechanical scarification in taking care that seed should be injured not be injured heavily this can be achieved third seedling boiled water treatment pouring boiled water over seeds and getting it to cool gradually for about 12 to 24 hours to soften dry and hard shelled seeds example coffee this will hasten the process of germination fourth soaking in water the purpose of soaking seeds in water is to modify hard seed coats to remove inhibitors to soften seed and to reduce the time of germination the time of soaking seed in cold water depend upon the hardness of the seed coat example peas beans acacia tree etc stratification moist chilling seed of many woody trees or shrubs are exposed to low temperature to bring about prompt and uniform germination stratification has some benefits in softening the seed coats the seeds are arranged in an alternate layer of sand in shallow boxes for pits or trenches this condition helps in rapid germination peach cherry plum oat grapes are some example diagrammatically representation of each step in seed formation demonstration of seed germination asexual plant propagation asexual propagation vegetative reproduction multiplication that does not involve the seed cycle clonal propagation clone a genetically identical assemblage of individual produced from a plant entirely by vegetative means benefits of clone and propagation some plants produce few if any viable seeds clone and progeny are highly uniform in all characters outcrossing plants reproduce highly variable progeny plants may have extended germination period cloning 
allows for combining genotypes in one plant. Seeds may have lengthy and complex dormancies. Difference between natural vegetative propagation and artificial vegetative propagation. Natural vegetative propagation refer to the natural development of new plant without human intervention. Artificial vegetative propagation refers to the artificial development of new plants by means of human intervention. Naturally occurs in plant occurs under the influence of man. Occurs through roots, bulbs, forms, tubers, suckers, rhizomes, runners, plantlets. Occurs through budding, grafting, layering, cutting, tissue culture. Helps to avoid physical barriers in sexual reproduction. Helps to maintain desirable characters over generation. Natural vegetative propagation A. Reproduction by roots B. Rhizome C. Com D. Tuber E. Bulb F. Reproduction by leaf G. Runner H. Stolen I. Offset J. Stuck Sucker and K. Axillary Birds Natural methods of vegetative reproduction Stems Underground stem Tuber For example, potato B. Rhizome for example, ginger, turmeric, banana, asphytium, C. Bulb, for example, onion, garlic. Subaerial stems A. Offset, for example, E. Cornea, water hyacinth, Pistia, water lettuce. B. Sucker, for example, chrysanthemum, pineapple, banana, mint, C. Runner, for example, grasses. Aerial stem, for example, sugarcane, opuntia. Fourth, bulbils, for example, agave, century plant, oxalis, ananas, dioscoria, lily. Natural vegetative propagation in leaves, for example, adiantum, walking fern, begonia. Natural vegetative propagation in roots, for example, dahlia. Cutting propagation. Cutting capable of regenerating roots or shoots from adventitious meristem. Cutting defined by size and location on parent plant. Stem tip, nodal, root, leaf. Cutting also defined by condition of growth. Softwood, semi-hardwood, hardwood. Conditions required for rooting cutting. Hardwood and root cutting require well drained medium but little moisture control. Leafy cutting requires high humidity to prevent excessive dehydration. Intermittent mist system, polytents or cold frames, fog. Medium into which cutting are stuck must be disease free, well drained and light. Oxygen application now standard treatment. Examples of cutting propagation Species and cutting type African violet Begonia leaf cutting Many woody shrubs Stem tip cutting Brambles root cutting Willow poplars Dormant hardwood cutting Grafting is the method of asexual plant propagation that joins plant part so they will grow as one plant. This technique is used to propagate cultivars that will not root well as cutting or whose own root system are inadequate. One or more new cultivars can be added to existing fruits and nut trees by grafting. The portion of cultivar that is to be propagated is called the sion. It consists of a piece of shoot with dormant bud that will produce the stem and branches. The rootstock or stalk provide the new plant root system and sometimes lower part of the stem.
टाइप्स ऑफ ग्राफ्टिंग क्लेफ्ट ग्राफ्टिंग बाग ग्राफ्टिंग विप और टंग ग्राफ्टिंग साइड मैनर ग्राफ्टिंग स्प्लाइस ग्राफ्टिंग सेटल ग्राफ्टिंग ब्रिज ग्राफ्टिंग क्लेफ्ट ग्राफ्टिंग वन ऑफ द सिंपलेस्ट एंड मोस्ट पॉपुलर फॉर्म्स ऑफ ग्राफ्टिंग क्लेफ्ट ग्राफ्टिंग इज अ मेथड फॉर टॉप वर्किंग बोथ फ्लारिंग एंड फ्रूटिंग ट्रीज एप्पल्स चेरीज पीयर्स एंड पीचेस इन ऑर्डर टू चेंज वेराइटीज क्लेफ्ट ग्राफ्टिंग इज ऑल्सो यूज टू प्रोपोगेट वेराइटीज ऑफ कैमलियाज डैट आर डिफिकल्ट टू डूट दिस टाइप ऑफ ग्राफ्टिंग इज यूजली डन ड्यूरिंग द विंटर एंड एर्ली स्प्रिंग वाइल बोथ सी ऑन एंड यू स्टॉक आर स्टिल डॉमेंट क्लेफ ग्राफ्टिंग मे बी परफॉर्म ऑन मेन स्टेम्स और ऑन लेटरल और स्काफोल्ड ब्रांचेस The root stock used for clay grafting should range from 1 to 4 inches in diameter and should be straight grain. The sion should be about 1 to 4 inches in diameter, straight and long enough to have at least 3 buds. Sion that are between 6 to 8 inches long are usually the easiest to use. Steps in clay grafting: Preparing the root stock. The stock should be swathed off with a clean smooth cut perpendicular to the main axis of the stem to be grafted using a clefting tool wedge and a mallet make a split or cleft through the center of the root stock and down 2 to 3 inches remove the cleaning tool wedge and drive the pick end of the tool with the center of the newly made cleft so that the stock can be held open while inserting the sion preparing the sion in cleft training Grafting one sion is usually inserted at each end of the cleft so prepare two sions for each cleft select sion that have 3 to 4 good buds using a sharp clean grafting knife start near the base of the lowest bud and make two opposing smooth tapered cuts 1 to 2 inches long towards the basal end of the sion cut the side with the lowest bud slightly thicker than the opposite side Be sure the basal end of the sion gradually tapers off along both sides. Inserting the sion, insert a sion on each end of the cleft with the wider side of the wedge facing outside. The cambium of each sion should contact the cambium of the root stock. Securing the graft. Remove the clefting tool from the cleft so that the root stock can close. Pressure from the root stock will hold the sion in place. Thoroughly seal all cut surfaces with grafting wax or grafting paint. to keep out water and prevent drying if both sions in the cleft take one will usually grow more rapidly than the other after the first growing session choose the stronger sion and prune out the weak diagrammatic representation of cleft grafting Bark grafting. Bark grafting is used primarily to top work flowering and fruiting trees. In contrast to cleft grafting, this technique can be applied to the rootstock of larger diameter 4 to 12 inches and is done during early spring when the bark slips easily from the wood but before major sap flow. The rootstock is severed with a sharp saw, leaving a clean cut as with cleft grafting. diagrammatic representation of bark grafting whip or trunk grafting the whip and trunk technique is most commonly used to graft nursery crops or woody ornamentals both the root stock and sion should be of equal size and preferably no more than 1 to 2 inches in diameter the technique is similar to splice grafting expect except that the whip on the root stock hold the tongue of the sion in place and vice versa this leaves both hand free to wrap the joint for the whip and tongue graft make similar cuts on both the stock and sion these cuts should be made with a single draw of the knife and should have a smooth surface so that the two can develop a good graft union up to this point root stock and sion are cut the same as for a splice graft diagrammatic representation of whip or tongue grafting
Budding, vegetative propagation in which a bud is inserted on the rootstock plant is called budding, also known as bud grafting. Bud is incorporated into the root stock and allowed to grow further while the bud of the root stock are removed. Therefore, inserted bud alone to produce the shoot system. Bud is used as sion and it should superior desired trait. Parent plants provide root system for survival of sion root stock plant. Budding methods Tea budding, patch budding, chip budding, flap budding, ring budding, flute budding. Tea budding Vegetative propagation in which a bud is inserted into a shape incision made in the root stalk. Sion appears as sheet, so that this method is known as sheet budding. Orange, rose, plum, and peaches are some examples. Patch budding method of bud crafting in which a patch of bark with a bud is inserted into a similar de depatched root stalk. For example, citrus, mango, rubber, anona, walnuts, etc. Chip budding, the method of bud crafting in which bud along with a piece of wood is inserted in a root stock, for example grapes. Flap budding, bud crafting in which a bud is inserted into the flap of bark lifted from root stock, also called for cut budding, since the bark of the root stock is gently lifted for inserting the sion. Ring budding, bud grafting in which a bud along with a ring of bark from bud wood is inserted into the root stock. Example, chin corner. Layering, layering involves inducing roots on an intact or nearly so plant. Air layering, interrupt cambium and cover wound with moisted medium. Ficus elastica magnolia. Simple layering. Low hanging branch covered with soil with or without wounding. Many shrubs. Tip layering. Tips of plants, brambles at certain times of year, black tail condition, develop roots where they touch the soil, blackberries and raspberries. Mound layering. Soil mounded to cover base of specially printed young trees, also referred to as tool layering, apple root stock. Demonstration of air layering. Epomixes, an exception to the rule of non clonal embryony. The development of an embryo within a seed or flowering structure from a source other than the egg, resulting in the formation of an embryo, sometimes in addition to the sexual embryo, that is a clone of the maternal parent. Examples include polyembryony in citrus and crab apples and the formation of bulbils in garlic. Micropropagation. Micropropagation has many synonyms. Tissue culture, mass propagation, in vitro culture, cloning. Micropropagation is rapid, continuous and efficient. Specialized equipment, facilities and technically trained personals are required. Steps can be taken to obtain and maintain certified pest-free plants. Cost effective if large number of given clones are produced. Widely used for orchids, ferns, many interior foliage plants, root stalks.
plants amenable to micropropagation flowering pot plants begonia african violets orchid interior foliate plants ferns syngonium ficus diffenbachia wooden ornamentals red maples rhododendrons nandena forest trees poplar birch loblolly pine fruit trees apple cherry year many roots stock vegetable crops potato celery tomato onion maize sterile plantation crops banana date palm coffee types of development in vitro proliferation of axillary buds from shoot tip cultures differentiation of adventitious shoots from leaves stems or roots formation and proliferation of somatic embryos seed germination orchids development of haploid plants from anthers or ovules protoplast fusion and somatic hybrid development